guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make aesthetic notes on google docs so i know you guys love chromebook videos and chromebooks are all centered around google chrome and on google chrome you're going to use all the google things like google docs google slides google sheets google sites youtube all that stuff so today i want to show you how you can utilize your Chromebook and make aesthetic notes on it using Google Docs. And you can also use Google Docs on any computer. It doesn't have to be a Chromebook, but this is centered for those people who love Chromebook videos and want more of them. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so when you get onto Google, you're going to go to your waffle, go to Google Docs, and open up a Google document. Just a blank one. All right, so when you start off with your Google document, you're not gonna have anything on there. It's gonna be completely blank, and that's just what I want. So I'm just gonna title this uh, Aesthetic Notes. You can title it your Google Doc, whatever you want. Um, when you're making a notes, you probably wanna think of what your color scheme is, and this is just something really fast. You can just choose any color scheme. So I'm gonna make my color scheme I'm gonna make it like green. Yeah, that'll be cute. All right, so first thing you wanna do is change your background color. Right now it's white and I don't want it to be white. So you're gonna, gonna go file, you're gonna go down, you're gonna go hit click page setup. You can also change the margin. So this is like the amount of space on the sides and the top and bottom of like between the text. I usually don't change that though. And then I'm gonna go to page color and I'm gonna change this to my green color. I would pick something kind of light so you can see your text on top of it. And now that you have that, we're going to add in our title for our aesthetic notes. So what you're going to do is you're going to insert a drawing. And drawings are really helpful to do things on Google Docs that you really can't do usually. So you're going to go to actions, you're going to click on word art, and you're going to type in what your title is, so I'm going to click aesthetic. Oh my gosh, I can't spell aesthetic notes. Enter. All right, so now that this came in, we have my word art. And the great thing about word art is you can really customize it. So first, I'm going to change the font. You're going to have to decide on what font you want for your thing. I would suggest something that is um, fairly thick. You don't want anything like too thin. You can click more fonts and you can search a font that you've seen. Le Monde, I'll use that. All right, so yeah, there you go. That's pretty cute. All right, so I'm just gonna make this a little smaller so I can see this better. And when you're making it smaller, make sure to press shift while you're making it smaller so the dimensions on each side stay the same. Like if you did it without it, you could do this and it would look really weird. But if you press shift, you can only make it bigger as one size also goes bigger, if that makes any sense. But anyway, now that we have that, I'm gonna change the color to something different. I'm gonna change it to like a darker um, green, that's cute, border. I'm gonna make it like a very dark um, green though. And now I'm going to add in a shape and I'm gonna use this like rounded, like rectangle shape. I'm gonna put it like around the word aesthetic notes and I'm gonna make it bigger than the word aesthetic notes. And I'm going to just click on this and um, change the order so it's and send it to the back so it's behind the word. Make it sure it's centered. Change the color, of course, to something that is fits our color scheme. I'm gonna make the aesthetic notes a little smaller. Okay, so you're gonna hit save and close, and then it'll pop up at the top of your screen. And I'm going to make this a little smaller. I'm going to change it to wrap text so you can move it easier. And I'm going to change the margin. So I'm going to go to page setup and I'm going to change the top margin to 0.5. So yeah, that looks nicer. Okay, so now that we have our heading, we're going to uh, type below your heading. So now I'm going to change this font to the lemon font I just chose. And then I'm going to do a hyphen and I'm going to type and then I'm going to highlight this hy hyphen and right click and I'm going to go to more bullets and I'm going to choose um, just like any bullets 
and I'll change it to this cute sun but you can change it to whatever you want and now when you do that it'll be there so I would say when you're making your aesthetic notes you want to make headings so and then you would hit tab and then you would write more info about the thing so like this is where you write more info about the heading all right and then with the word heading it's kind of small so what i would suggest doing is first of all we're going to highlight it the same color green as the box and i'm going to change it from normal text to heading two And when you change it to heading 2, you're going to have to change it back to your correct um, fonts. But now it's much bigger, and yeah. And you can also change this um, hyphen to, if you want to change it to a different bullet as well, you can change it to that same sun bullet or whatever thing you want to use. And then you can just add as much information as you want. And then if you want to highlight words, you can. I would suggest definitely emphasizing things by bolding them, underlining them, and even changing them to a different color. Change this to another heading. I'm going to change it to the font that I want. And here I'm going to write adding extra emphasis. So in this area I'm going to talk about inserting tables and post-it notes in the doc. Maybe you want to add some extra emphasis for something. You can add a table. Maybe you're taking notes and you're comparing two things. Tables is a great way to do that. So you go to tables and you go two by however many you want. Then you click on the amount you want and you add that in. And then you can, I would suggest centering these top two. And I would change the color of this to the green. And we can say option one. I'll actually change this color to be a little bit darker. I'm going to bold that and then you can just e type whatever you want here. When you're working with your chart, if you right click slash like press with two fingers, or you can insert rows or delete rows depending on if you want it to be longer in length or shorter. That's just something helpful too. And yeah, so that's another thing you can do. And to add a post-it note, like almost like a little emphasis thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, to the area I want to um, insert it. I'm going to click insert, and I'm going to click drawing again. Drawing is really helpful whenever you need to add in something that you can't just normally do. Add it in a drawing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to shape. I am going to go to shapes and... In here, I'm going to click on the one that looks most like a post-it note to me, which is this one. I'm going to make it the size I want. That's good. And I'm going to change it to my color scheme, of course. Great. And now in here, I'm going to type up something. So I'm going to add a text box over this post-it note. And I'm going to type away something of importance. So I'm going to change my font, of course. I'm going to center this. Note. I'm going to make this a little small. All right, there we go. And then once you're finished making the thing, you can hit save and close. And now to make this look a little bit cleaner, I'm going to click um, on wrap text. And that means the text is going to go around it. I'm going to put it on the side over here. I'm going to make it a little smaller. It doesn't need to be that big. And then in there you can write anything important that you want to highlight or note about your notes.
And if you ever have a break in one of your notes and it's like one section you want to just kind of like show that there is a break, you can go to that section and you can go to insert and you can click horizontal line and it'll kind of just make this long line that will kind of break up your notes that you just took there if that's something you want to do. And then of course to make it aesthetic I would also suggest adding in images. If you want to remove a background of an image you can go to this website called remove.bg. Look up the picture that you want. You can copy and then you go to the website and paste it in. And then you can simply copy the image that you want and paste it in and it'll have a transparent background. And I would always suggest making your images have the wrap text effect. And I think that's everything you really need to know about making aesthetic notes. Hopefully this helps you guys out and I hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to know how to make aesthetic Google Slides. That might be coming out next. I'll see you later. Bye!